In this lesson, I want to demonstrate the pencil tool. It's very useful for drawing complex shapes while giving a somewhat hand-drawn look. The lines are uniform, though. If you want to draw on the computer and have your lines be less uniform and perhaps even show where you're pressing down or lightening up, you'd better use Photoshop. Here I'm going to get the pencil tool and I will draw a little house. It'll probably look somewhat familiar. Now, when you draw with the pencil tool, you hold down your tool all the time. You don't click at all. So I'm going to start here and draw the little roof and the chimney and let go. Now I'm going to hit, hit Command or Control and click outside to stop drawing. I'm going to get the direct selection tool so we can see how many anchor points there are. There are a lot. I could delete some by using this delete anchor point tool. One by one, delete some anchor points. Another thing I can do is this nifty thing inside the pencil tool. They have the smooth tool. Now I can just draw along pretty much where I drew before and InDesign will decide for me how to smooth this out. They will delete some points, maybe add some points, move some points, and they will smooth it out for me. I'll show you another smoothing trick in a minute, but let's use our pencil tool to draw another kind of a shape. We will draw a thought cloud. Now I'm going to hold down while I make this thought cloud. And here we go. There it is. Now it's got a lot of anchor points. We can use the smooth tool and fix some of the bits. And you might be wondering about this erase tool that we also have. Here is where you erase some of your edges. Now you use, this is a upside down pencil. You use the bottom point of it and we'll see what happens when we erase some of this picture. Oops. Now, because this has a fill, you can see what it's doing. It has erased the points and now we have an open path and uh, this is what has happened. So if I wanted to get rid of this whole lump, that's what I would end up with. If I just do some of the points over here, I, whoops, I better select it again. Maybe with the direct selection tool. If I want to get rid of some of the points over here, I just go along and that's what I get. So it's kind of destructive, but now you know what the erase tool is. We've used the smooth tool and the erase tool. Now I want to show you the best part about the pencil tool. I'll get the pencil tool and then double click on it. Now look at these settings for smoothness. We were on zero. That's the default setting. Let's move it up and get something very smooth and try again. I will draw another house. So I've got the pencil tool and it's got 77% smoothness. I'm going to draw another house. This is going to come out terrific. See that? Nice house. I'm going to let go. Whoops. Now that's a bit too smooth for a house. So I recommend not using the smoothness tool too much for straight lines. Let's draw a thought cloud though. This is going to come out terrific. You can see I'm drawing kind of lumpy as usual. Wow. Now that's what I call a good thought cloud. Look at that. It hardly has any anchor points. I only need to do a slight amount of fiddling maybe down here. 
using the anchor points and the handles. I guess I might as well demonstrate that. Here's a little handle. There. That's just about perfect. There's my thought cloud, and I can change the shape of it. I'm very pleased with that. Now you can see that the pencil tool is a lot of fun. If you remember to use the settings, you can get your picture as smooth as you like. And also, of course, there's the smooth tool if you want to fuss with it at a small scale. And now you know how to use the pencil tool. So in my series of drawing tools, I've shown you the shape tools, the pathfinder, the pen tool for straight lines, the pen tool for curves, and the pencil tool. I hope you find the right tool for your purpose and enjoy using it.